Chris Dwyer with Infinity Disc. Today I'm going to show you how to take your logo and uh, crop it out and size it for um, your LinkedIn page, whether it be your logo, uh, an image, or whatnot. Um, the images are a little bit different than the logos. Maybe your, you know, your group group logo. Anyway, I have, I have my logo on, and I'm in a letter artboard, which is I think my default alt artboard in um, in uh, in Illustrator. So anyway, you'll come. You want to come down to the crop tool, click on it. And um, you see, you'll see that I'm in letter. Heck, you may be on A4. You might be on A3. Maybe on B4. But anyway, the first thing you'll want to do is um, you'll want to re. I'm going to resize the uh, logo down a, a bunch because I'm going to end up kind of cropping out this thing. And I want it to be small enough so I don't cut anything off. We will fix that later. Come over to your crop tool. And since. Um, Actually, this is set to millimeters. So what you want to do is, um, uh, since I was set to, since I was actually, let me show you real quick. This is set to millimeters. You want that as pixels. Brings up another point. So anyway, go to document setup. Come down from millimeters. Click pixels. Bam. So then come out of your crop pool, and um, you could do this. You know, by hand. But the easiest way to do it is to come up with your crop tool selected, hit 100 by 60. Bam! There you go. Actually, let's let's increase that up a little bit so I don't lose my logo, and then we'll go back and fix it. Hit um, Command uh, Plus to zero in on it. Come down, and then we'll hold down Shift, and we're gonna resize that down a bunch. So, anyway, hit back crop, 100 by 60, and then we can move this over right there. Oop, it'll just shoot, do the logo, and pull the logo back over. And then with that, hold down shift, well, it's selected, and we're just going to increase this up so that we can get the most of our logo. Bam! There you go. That looks. That should look pretty good. So um, I just. Uh, I'll, you want to save it. Save it for the web. You'll save it as a PNG file, which is non-destructive. It's going to be. It's a lossless. Uh, lossless compression, um, or whatever. That's the best. If you pick GIF or JPEG. GIFs are. I don't like GIFs at all. JPEGs are okay, but it definitely is going to take some um, stuff out of your logo. Whether or not you see it or not, I don't know. You may have a great pair of eyes. But anyway, click, click save. Logo for LinkedIn. Bam. And that should be perfectly sized so that when I pull it into LinkedIn, it's not going to be chopping off anything and whatnot. It's just going to optimize your logo.